what's the secret like behind you such photos of aadhar card i always say aadhar card you can tear it away you know that right that physical print out you're walking yeah. around become meaningless very soon Welcome to another episode of Tech Talks. This is Siddharth Jindal from AI Media House and today we have Dr. Pramod Verma with us, the man who needs no introduction, the brain behind UPI, Aadhaar and DigiLocker. So, I would like to know like uh, uh, like can you imagine a life in India without Aadhaar card and like uh, who 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 is Pramod Verma like without Aadhaar card? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. My identity is attached to Aadhaar also, right? It's very funny. Yeah, we Uh, there was identity project and our identity as uh, somewhat associated so what were the uh, major struggles and how you came come came up with the idea and how it was executed and like how you convinced the uh, uh, like uh, your team members and that like, we should go ahead with this yeah so it was first of all it was not me in the sense that we had a team led by nandan nilakani mm-hmm. as the chairman of mm-hmm. the project uh, and he has, he is a very naturally collaborative person so he would mm-hmm. reach out to a lot of people mm-hmm. some of us joined volunteered mm-hmm. for aadhaar project at that time in 2009 we quit our commercial mm-hmm. world and yeah. joined but each of us brought um, some skill to the table yeah. to be able to execute a project of that magnitude mm-hmm. it was very complex to imagine mm-hmm. that a billion plus people will stand in line mm-hmm. apply for identity get a digital identity mm-hmm. and it will become useful for useful for them yeah. sometimes you issue identity which is never become useful mm-hmm. so we have to also worry about demand side use cases where are they going to use it mm-hmm. why should they use it mm-hmm. and those questions have to be asked government didn't have a, mm-hmm. they said simply issue identity to all yeah we as part of the early discussion said let's not make it a complicated card mm-hmm. project mm-hmm. let's make it a digital identity project mm-hmm. and let's also where ask the question mm-hmm. incentive question mm-hmm. why should people stand in line mm-hmm. how can it be inclusive enough for a billion people to join without friction mm-hmm. third how does it really become useful every day so mm-hmm. we ask these key questions in the design mm-hmm. and that is why if you look at aadhar you will realize that it was very extremely minimal we mm-hmm. kept only four attributes Yeah. We didn't even ask father, mother. We mm. didn't even ask anything that complicated because how, how does homeless join? How does orphans join? Mm. You know, uh, then biometric. We had both type of mm. biometric because if only to fingerprint, mm-hmm. what happens to millions of leprosy patients? Mm-hmm. You know, how can they join? So we had to ask a lot of inclusion question mm-hmm. and to make sure that it is truly inclusive. Mm-hmm. Second, it is truly incentive aligned. Mm-hmm. That means many departments would like. to mm-hmm. they don't see aadhar as a threat to them mm-hmm. they see aadhar as an enabler for them to do what they would like to do mm-hmm. like a food department distribution mm-hmm. pds mm-hmm. ration shop department they should see aadhar as a value to them mm-hmm. banks should see aadhar as a value to do for them to do whatever mm-hmm. they want to do mm-hmm. if they see aadhar as a competition then mm-hmm. we will never succeed yeah. so we have to create that incentive alignment and the mm-hmm. third is obviously drive demand side use cases mm-hmm. which is the two use cases which is what we call a killer use cases mm-hmm. we started with one was opening bank accounts mm-hmm. and yeah. second was direct benefits transfer yeah. so all the government benefits transfer mm-hmm. came directly to your bank account mm-hmm. that was the use case that triggered the aadhar wave so like there's one question like which everyone asked me to ask you when i told like i'm interviewing <laughs> pramod so like everyone uses aadhar card so like the quality of photo like Not everyone. <laughs> not everyone is happy. About Even my it. father is unhappy. Okay. Yeah. So like, uh, what's the secret like behind the such photos of Aadhaar card? Like, yeah. Uh, or we'll see better photos in the future. Yes. It's amazing. This question comes up. <laughs> it's funny. One of the things that we did mm. is to not, if we had gone down a mm. path mm. of very very specialized equipments mm-hmm. needed to run Aadhaar. like slr camera or good cameras mm-hmm. rather than a cheap mm-hmm. webcam mm-hmm. yeah what we would have never launched aadhaar mm-hmm. we would have never scaled to a billion people in 7 years mm-hmm. what we realized is 
we can get a reasonable quality of photo mm -hmm. for the purposes of deduplication and identity issuance mm -hmm. with commodity hardware mm -hmm. and we bet on the trend that moves law and commodity mm -hmm. you will have better cameras mm -hmm. and today's commodity cameras is no more 10 years ago mm -hmm. 10 years ago resolution and today's mm -hmm. resolutions yeah. are you know, you can get 4K tiny cameras even today, right? Commoditized, actually mm -hmm. very high quality cameras. Mm -hmm. So we bet on that saying, mm -hmm. if everyone can use, mm -hmm. everyone uses Aadhaar every day mm -hmm. and it becomes valuable, mm -hmm. you will be able to go back and update your photograph mm -hmm. later. And by the time you go back and upgrade, mm -hmm. camera quality is improved. Mm -hmm. We don't have to worry about the best photo on day one. Okay. Our day one, if you had focused on mm. getting SLR cameras for mm. a billion people, <laughs> we would have been procuring all kind another 2G's cam would have happened. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think we wanted to go through that. Mm. I think it was very clear in our mm. mind. It was not a procurement game. Mm. It was about unlocking value mm. for people. And if it is valuable, we can always mm. offer an update. No. Mm, yeah. Your identity, you go and update yourself. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you have to update because phase do change. Yeah. And people grow up and they want to do it. Mm -hmm. So we realize every five, 10 years or so, mm -hmm. human beings have to update their photo. Mm -hmm. But 10 years later, that when you now go, you will mm -hmm. start seeing better quality of cameras and so on. I always say, ah, that card, you can tear it away. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. it, there is no thing called original card. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So you are your identity. Yeah. Your face, your identity. Today, mm -hmm. Digi Yatra uses your face, not mm -hmm. other card, no? Yeah, yeah. So, you don't have to worry about what's printed mm -hmm. more, five more years later, ten more years later. That physical mm -hmm. printout yeah, you're yeah. walking around become meaningless very soon mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. Because you are your identity and you can authenticate anytime. Mm -hmm. So, two reasons why we didn't bother much about the printout. <laughs>